Good afternoon everyone, welcome to Western Ford here in Deer Park. My name's Andre and tonight we're going to present to you the brand new Ford Puma. I have uh, two of my team here this afternoon with us in Yash and Demith and they're going to assist us in going through the Ford Puma and showing us some of the cool features. But without further ado, let's get the covers off and have a look. Alright, awesome. Okay, so as we can see here, um, some of the things we're going to go through tonight here regarding the Ford Puma is the effortless styling, the sporty performance, um, some of the latest connectivity and latest technology. So what we have here in front of us is a Puma ST Line V and a Puma there as well. So one of the questions that I'm sure everyone will have is how much does it cost? So the Ford Puma starts at 31,990. The Puma ST is 33,990, and the Puma ST Line V is 36,990. Drive away. So I'm going to hand you over to Yash, who's going to talk to you about the dynamic sports styling on the new Puma. Over to you, Yash. Thanks, Andre. Hello, guys. How are you going? I'll be running through your brand new Ford Puma. ST Line V. Some of the fantastic like, design features that we've got on the Ford Puma SC Line V. We'll start in the front here. You've got the brand new, like, unmissable Ford grill. It's it's beautifully darkened, and you've got some very nice chrome accents, which I match all the way through, just giving it a fantastic look in the front. Um, it's a very nice prominent look, which gives you like a bolder and a dark, uh, which gives you a bolder look, and then and pretty much a more aggressive stance all the way around. You've got some fantastic daytime running lights, which are uh, which are all just here. Very nice LED, giving you some fantastic clarity um, as you're as you're approaching other drivers, uh, providing you fantastic like, visibility as well as like safety all the way around. On uh, on this exact model here, the ST Line V. This one has 18-inch alloys, beautifully finished all the way around. Very nice, like multi-spoke design, and you've got some very aggressive. Um, sport styling throughout, which is beautifully like, colour coded as well, down to the wheel arches, to the back lines, to very nicely finished with the matching front in the steel look in the front as well. Come through. Just in the back over here as well, we've also got the daytime, uh, just in the back as well, we've got your tail lights too. Which are, uh, which are also like LED as well, giving you fantastic clarity. And what they also do is just pretty much any drivers approaching from behind, um, you've got fantastic like, visibility uh, throughout. You're very easily seen. Um, you've got some fantastic Puma badging just all the way through the back as well. Uh, beautifully finished with your, shark fin on, with your shark fin antenna for the ST Line V, as well as your rear spoiler. Just giving it a more aggressive look all the way throughout. With the Ford Puma ST Line V, as well as um, as well as all of the models, um, you've got you've got some fantastic options in the colours that you can go for. Uh, this one's very nicely finished. This one this one's a very nice model in the ST Line as well, in the um, in the Ford Puma and the red. There are a like variety of options which you can also add. Something like this one is extremely popular, which is the black roof. That's available throughout, just giving it a much more aggressive, much more sportier design. And um, just definitely just giving it a very nice vibe all the way through in winter as well as summer. You can also option on some like roof rails through here, as well as you've got the like option just in the styling of going with a panoramic sunroof as well. Here we go. Here we go, I'll now be like handing you back over to Andre. Thanks, Josh. Awesome, guys. So, I'm going to run through now the effortless design on the all-new Ford Puma. And to do this, I'm also going to ask the assistance of Abby. She's going to come through and help me with a few things there. So, first thing I do want to talk about, we're going to head around to the side of the vehicle. And when we talk about effortless, you know, ease of using the car, 
as a day-to-day -day basis. So little things like keyless entry to unlock and lock the car. Nice and easy, keys in your pocket, simple. Underneath the mirror here, at night, it does have a puddle lamp, which funnily enough is actually a Puma, as you can probably see the reflection on my hand there. So something small, but it does project out on the ground at night, so if you're getting into the car, in a car park and you know just making sure there's no puddle there when you jump in. As we head around to the back of the vehicle, continuing on with the effortless design and features is something as simple as opening the boot. Keys in my pocket, kick under the bumper and up she goes. So Abby, one thing I do want to um, get you to do for me, if you could grab your pram. Um, now Looking at this, right, what do you think of that? It's not going to fit. No? No, nah, not at all. You reckon it's too big to fit in there? Yep, all right. too big. Let me do this. Sorry, guys. It is live, and that didn't work as well as I expected <laughs> it to. <laughs> Give that a go, Abby. Tell me what you think. Oh, my gosh. What do you think? Yep, crazy. Yeah, I did not think it was going to fit at all. One simple press of the button. Yeah. Happy days. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So a couple of little things there, but just want to get your thoughts um, on the new Puma. What do you think about the, the look of the car? I think it looks luxurious. Um, sleek. Yeah. Is it something that you think that would, you know, work for you and your family in, in your current situation? 100%. Yeah. Brand new mum. Yep. It would work great. Yep. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, awesome. So one other little thing I do want to show you as well in the boot um, is you'll notice the, the blind here. So most conventional um, blinds in boots previously would always have the straps and they're in the way all the time. One thing that Ford have done and put a lot of emphasis on is just the ease of this. It's up out of the way. If you put anything in the boot that's a little bit big, you're not having to take it out and move it out like you normally would. So, the other feature I do want to run through, which also talks about effortless design, um, is inside the door here. So, one thing you'll notice down here is the length of the door goes all the way to the bottom of the car here. Now, the reason Ford have done that is getting in and out of the car with, you know, your trousers or, or a dress. If your car's been driven in the rain or it's dirty, this basically seals this area off. So if you're getting in and out, you're not going to get your pants dirty or your dress dirty. Simple. Something as simple as that makes it nice and easy. So from here, I'm going to take you over to Demith, and Demith's going to go through some of the safety features on the all-new Ford Puma. Demith. Thanks, Andre. No worries. Hi there, my name is David. I'm here to go through some of the safety features of this awesome Ford Puma. Right here, we got the Ford Puma ST line, which, which comes with five-star ANSAC ratings, um, which would be the best car for my wife and two kids, given all the safety features come with it. All right, I'll start with the automatic headlights and anti-lock brake system. Given here is this, the LED headlight. It comes with automatic. So the headlight can switch on and off automatically depending on how dark and the light is out there. All right, the next feature would be the autonomous emergency braking with pedestrian protection. That means the car, the car can sense if any object or somebody in front, if the driver doesn't brake in time, if the driver doesn't brake in time, the vehicle will brake by itself automatically. How awesome is that? All right, the next, next one would be the driver impairment monitor using forward-facing camera. You see the camera right here? You can see like any object in front. Um, and at the same time, it can, it can sense if the driver is falling asleep behind the wheel, right? or the dri driver, is, yeah, driver is falling asleep or drowsy, and it'll start giving all the alerts. It's one of, one of the best safety features in this car. And all right, let's move on to the emergency assistance. That means in case of an emergency, or if airbags are deployed, the vehicle will automatically call the SOS hotline. One of the, one of the other features it comes with is the rear view camera with 180 degree view. Let's say when you want to reverse the car, 
it gives a nice wide angle of the rear view camera, which um, yeah, which which gives you which gives you a clear view of the objects behind and everything in it. All right. All right. Let's move on. Let's move on to the next one, which is going to be this um, traffic sign recognition. All right. This is one of my favorite safety features in this car. Um, yeah. It the camera right here. It it can read the traffic signs on the road, like the speed, like, like the speed signs. For an example, on a 40 zone, if you are doing 45, it will start giving you like warning saying you are speeding. Yeah. So you got no reason to speed. You can stay off all these speeding fines. Right. All right. I'm going to pass the camera to Andre. He'll go through more features on this car. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks, Demis. No okay, guys. So the next thing I'm going to go through is one of the new features that Ford have just, as, just I suppose, introduced to their products, um, which is a really good feature called the Ford Pass system. So it's very simple. You download the Ford Pass app on your phone, which I'll show you here. So if you have a look here, Ford Pass app, and you can see I've already got the vehicle connected to my phone. Now, one little cool thing I want to show you, if I press and hold this, thinking. Still thinking. There we go. So, I've just started the car from my phone. Keys are in my pocket. I could be at home, inside, about to go to work in the morning. A bit nice, cool morning, so I want to make sure that, you know, when I get into the car, it's nice and warm. Simple as hitting that button, the car will run for a period of time, which will be about 15 minutes. Then at any point in time, I can stop that just by pressing and holding the stop button on the actual app as well. So you can see there, it says shutting off in 15 minutes and then it'll go through. So what it basically does, goes from my phone through the internet to a, a satellite and then back to the car. So the car has an embedded modem in the car with a SIM card. So that gives me the ability to start the car remotely, unlock it and lock it remotely. So little things like if you go to the shopping centre, which I've done plenty of times, you're halfway inside and you go, oh geez, did I lock my car? And you've got to walk all the way back out and make sure you press the button and hear the beep. Where now, you don't have to. It can be all done on your phone. The other cool features of the, of the Ford Pass Connect app is that it allows you to check your fuel level, how many kilometres are on your car. It does have location services as well. So you go to park in a big shopping centre, which these days are getting bigger and bigger. You forget where you've parked and you can actually have a look on your app to see where you've parked the car. It also gives you the ability to book your service, check your service history and give you uh, health alerts for the vehicle as well. So the next thing I want to introduce you guys to is the inside of the all-new Ford Puma. So a couple of the features that we're going to have a look at is the fantastic design in the dash. So it's got the, the huge 12-inch, 12.5-inch screen um, in the instrumentation cluster. And I'll also go through the Sync 3 um, with the Apple CarPlay and show you a little bit about that. So let's head inside to the car, guys, and um, I'll see you there. So guys, as we can see here, I don't know if you can get the shot in there of the instrumentation cluster, but when I turn the car on, it brings up the Puma symbol. Now I'll get rid of the warnings. So you can see there the lovely clear digital dash, which is quite outstanding, great size, the colours are really good, so it makes it very easy to see. The other thing we've got on the screen here is your 8-inch coloured touchscreen which I'll get rid of that, sorry guys. So 8 inch colour touchscreen, get rid of that, sticking to me, which has your Ford Sync 3, which I'm going to connect my phone up now to the Apple CarPlay and show you how that all works. So it's as simple as connecting your phone, hitting continue on the screen there, 
and agreeing to the terms and conditions. Emergency assistance, as the myth covered earlier, really great feature and something that's quite unique to Ford. So connect my phone up and as you can see there, it goes straight through and there's my phone projected on the screen of the car. So it goes through all my apps, very easy to see. So you can use Google Maps, you can use um, WhatsApp, Spotify, check your messages, make phone calls, and you can do it all via voice control. So very, very easy to use, guys. The other thing I do want to show you, the climate control system that's in the ST-Line V, you can see here it's got the digital display for your temperature and your fan speed there, but very easy to use. You know, you can see the, the dials have got a little rubber trim around them, so this is just very easy and, and it's all there for you. The other cool thing is your wireless charging. So even though I've got my phone plugged in, if not, there is a wireless charging compartment at the front there as well. So the other thing I would like to show you, I'm just going to start the vehicle up, is what Demith was talking about earlier is the reverse camera. So if I put the car into reverse, as you can see there, excuse all the, the beeps going off because it doesn't like the doors open. You can see the lines there. You can also see that 180 degree camera. So it makes it nice and easy um, to see if you're backing out of a driveway and you know there's a fence, you can sort of see who's coming either way, um, whether it be you know someone on the footpath or, or whatever. So one moment, I'll jump out of the car. So as you would have noticed while I was in the car, there's in the ST-Line V, you'll notice the, the lovely leather seats with your, your diamond stitching. Um, they've really finished off the interior really, really nicely. The leather steering wheel with the flat bottom, so give you that real sporty appearance and sporty feel. The other thing in the back seat, so I want to go into the back seat and just show you the actual, there's quite actually a bit of space, even though this is a smaller SUV in the Ford segment. I'm just shy of six foot, and for me to sit in the back is very, very easy. I've got plenty of headroom, um, and I'm quite comfortable, even though that seat's a fair way back there. So when we talk about, I suppose, versatility, um, you know, someone that buys a, a small car like this, and I'm going to grab Yash quickly to give me a hand just getting this uh, pram out of the boot, because there's something else I would like to show you. If you could just grab that out for us, Yashi. So when we talk about versatility, you know, we've all been to IKEA and bought something that's too big for our car and then we try to cram it in and get it home somehow. So boot space. The Ford Puma has one of the biggest boot compartments in its class, 410 litres in the current configuration. If I am to fold down these two seats, as you can see here, which are very easy to do, like so. It does have the adjustable floor, so basically I can lift that up and happy days. You can put something right through and that really expands your, your storage capacity um, to 11 odd hundred kilo, uh, litres I should say. So, Once again, guys, if you have just joined us, my name's Andre. We're here at Western Ford in Deer Park for the launch of the all-new Ford Puma. So, a few other things I wanted to go through is we all want to know, and a lot of people, when they come into the dealership, they all want to have a look at the engine. There's not a lot to look at, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the bonnet and just run you through a little bit of stuff under the bonnet. Um, so, the all-new Ford Puma... Um, has the award-winning one-litre, three-cylinder EcoBoost petrol engine. So that engine, when it was launched back quite a few years ago now, but that was launched in the Ford Fiesta, was the first model that, that Ford brought that out. And it was a very successful engine to win International Engine of the Year two years in a row. So when that happened, it, it created a lot of interest in the Fiesta and that one-litre EcoBoost engine and to the likes of, of makers like Ferrari, Mercedes-Benz, you know, contacted Ford and wanted to get some more information about their technology. So give me two moments, I'm going to get the bonnet open and we'll have a bit of a look. So 
second. So, as you can see, one litre EcoBoost petrol engine. So it's tucked away nicely there. So the, the fuel consumption on the, the Ford Puma is 5.3 litres per 100 kilometres as an average fuel consumption. It's a front wheel drive. It's a seven speed transmission with the EcoBoost engine. So the engine and transmission uh, combined gives it the great economy, great power delivery, and it is a really nice car to drive. I've driven this car and um, I've got to say, I really love driving it. It's something that, you know, I could confidently put my wife in and she'd know she'd be safe and she'd enjoy driving the car. So when we talk about, I suppose, ownership of the, the Ford Puma, we also got to look at, obviously, what you get as a customer when it comes time to service. So the Ford Puma has a five-year unlimited kilometre warranty. And as you can see over here, we've got 10 reasons to why you should buy a Puma other than the car. So what we do for all our customers, you do get a, a service loan car with every service when you book in, free sat nav map upgrades, auto club with roadside assistance, it does have a, have a service calculator, but with the Puma, your first four services are fixed at $299 for the standard service. You'll also get a vehicle health report every time you come in for a service. The guys will give you a checklist to tell you the condition of the car and if there's anything that does need attention. Low price tyre guarantee. So one thing that Ford has, has introduced all these features to make it easy for our customers. And that's, you know, one of the things I've been talking about a little bit is the effortless ownership and design in the, in the Puma. So all these things here do add to that as well. Okay guys, so I'm just going to uh, go through and see if we've got any questions regarding uh, the new Ford Puma. So one of the other things, while, the, while we're having a look at that, one of the other things I want to run through is some of the uh, campaigns that we've got currently with the release of the all-new Ford Puma, other than the drive-away pricing that I have mentioned earlier, which is for the Puma, Puma entry model uh, that we have behind us here in its standard form, currently is $31,990 drive-away. The Puma ST is $33,990 drive-away, and then the Puma ST Line V, which I have next to me here, is 36,990 drive away. Ford have also introduced a test drive bonus. So customers that come into the dealership, take the car for a drive and buy the car, will get a $500 uh, bonus. If you are a current Ford owner, you will get a $1,000 bonus. So there is some really good reasons at the moment, other than this fantastic car, is to get into the new Puma. So you've got some really good reasons, guys, to get into the Puma. So I'm just going to close this bonnet down. Okay. Got a question? Yep. Okay. Territory and Falcon. Geez, they were a good car, weren't they? I think everyone loved those things. I still get people coming into the showroom now asking if they still make them. So... The transmission that they've put into the all-new Ford Puma is a seven-speed dual-clutch transmission. Now, some people might get a little bit antsy when they hear the words dual-clutch. Rest assured, this is what they call a wet-clutch transmission. So very, very different to previous transmissions that Ford have used. This car, as I said, I've driven this car. One thing I really liked about it was the power delivery, but how smooth that transmission is. So one thing is rest assured, transmission I wouldn't even be, wouldn't even be a concern to me. Any other questions? <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, look, um, thanks for, for joining in today and um, joining me here at Western Ford to unveil the all-new Ford Puma. Um, thanks to my team, Demith and Yash. Um, they are here, we're here, we're working. 
If you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact myself or my team, and we'd be more than happy to help you in any which way we can. Um, but as soon as hopefully we can get these restrictions lifted shortly so we can get everyone back into the showroom and test driving these fantastic cars. Once again, thank you so much for coming. Oh, hold on, we've got a question. Okay, so I've got a question there asking how they can speak to us. Um, we've got a, a number of different ways that you can communicate with us. If you go to our website, you can go through a chat which comes directly to myself or one of my sales staff. Um, you can pick up the phone and call us on 03 8363 1555 and we'd be more than happy to help you. Yep. What size motor do they come in and is there a turbo? Oh, sorry guys. I probably should elabor elaborate a little bit more on that. So the Ford Puma is a one litre, three cylinder, single turbo petrol. That is, it comes in one, one engine size and one configuration with the transmission as well, which is a seven speed automatic transmission in a front wheel drive only. So it's very easy, one engine, one transmission, makes it simple, whether it be the Puma, Puma ST or Puma ST Line V. And I think that's it, guys. So once again, thank you so much. If you've got any questions, need any more info regarding the Ford Puma, please reach out to us. We'd be more than happy to help. Also, check out our website, westernford.com.au. Thanks, guys.